haven't seen each other for a year right now. It's almost February and we've seen each other last time. It was in February after we get back from a short German tour. And that's crazy, you know, because at the end of 2019, we uh, released Tales of Fire and Ice. And after this album, we played literally eight live shows. Yes, this one. <laughs> we played only eight live shows and this pandemic began. So we weren't able to promote this album on tour. So um, in March, we started receiving in some infos about our shows that, to make long story short, that we were not going anywhere because it's going to be, you know, this lockdown and yeah. everything will be closed, no live shows, no travels and so on. So we came up with the idea to not to waste the entire year and to start working on the new album. Perfect. And yeah, and we started working on the cult and it was March or in April. It was probably March. In August album was completely done, finished, recorded, everything. And this pandemic impacted us in a way that we were working on this album completely online. We haven't seen each other. We were exchanging, you know, millions of emails, phone calls, you know, chatting on Skype, Messenger and everything that was, you know, um, available to stay in touch. I mean, we stay in constant touch for all the time. We speak with each other almost every day, of course, sending with each other millions of stupid gifts and so on. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what most of people used to do. But yeah, working on this album was weird. This is actually the first Crystal Viper album that we haven't recorded in the recording studio because it was impossible for us to come to one place together to sit and work on music. Each of us were recording his parts at his own end at home studio and so on. Album was also mixed in a different way than usual because our drummer, Cedric Forsberg, he did mixes of the album. He was working on this album with our producer, with Bart Gabriel, who is my husband in personal life. So they are both responsible for the sound of the album. Yeah, in general, that was weird, you know, but there are some ways that I actually liked that way of recording because I'm a vocalist. And when we were recording albums in the recording studio and I was going to the studio, the time in the, my time in the studio was always booked. You need to book your time in recording studio to record your stuff. So it actually didn't matter if I was tired or not of if I had a good sleep, I just had to go to the studio to record my parts because I knew that, for example, I have only two or three days and on the next day, bass player is coming to the studio to record his parts. So I had to do that because that was the schedule and I had to keep that schedule. But when I was recording in my home studio and, for example, I was tired, I didn't have to do that. I could <laughs> I could record on the next day and that was great. And this is what I actually very liked. Um, yeah, that was actually cool way of recording vocals. And I am sure I will like to repeat that in the future. But I but I really missed um, I missed this kind of musical climate, you know, because when you are in the recording studio with your bandmates, it's always like that, that you are that you are with them in the studio, you are working on music and outside world doesn't exist for you. Yeah. There is only music, only your new album, you and your bandmates. You are sharing your passion, which is music with people that you like. And that was great. And I missed that a lot, actually. But yeah, I, I really hope the pandemic will will end soon and we will be and we will be able to meet finally because look, we are tomorrow is the release date of our new album. We have no promo photos. <laughs> <laughs> and and we have a new lineup because we had Cedric Forsberg on board and so on. And we, we weren't able to take any photos. We have no music video. This is the the first time for many years right now that we are releasing album without music video mm -hmm. but yeah but 
but uh, yeah, we have some lyric videos. They are also very cool, but I cannot wait to finally meet with my bandmates, with guys from Crystal Viper and to do some, you know, <laughs> good quality stuff. Yes. Well, was it difficult to, to get Cedric, um, you know, to, to get a feel with, uh, with, with Crystal Viper's material, figuring that he wasn't there with the rest of the bands trying to get that feel with you guys? Uh, actually, Cedric is a very easygoing person. He's mm -hmm. super nice and he's super talented musician. And what's most important, he likes the same genre of music that we do, that I do. Me and Cedric, we are listening to similar bands. So working together on, on songs was like, was fantastic. And what else? Cedric, uh, he's a new member, he's a drummer in Crystal Viper, but he actually composed some songs for this album. So that was also great. And, you know, that was cool situation for me because I always wanted for all those years, I always wanted to hear from, from, from my, you know, bandmate, hey, I want to compose song, songs for the album as well. <laughs> and finally it happened because for, for many years in the past, I was the only composer in Crystal Viper. And I don't know why, no one was never interesting, you know, interested in composing songs. And finally, you know, we have Ted joined the band. He, he said, he, he, he asked if he can compose songs. And I said, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah perfect. He's, yeah, he's super talented musician. I'm not sure if people know that, but he plays drums, guitar, bass. He can also sing. Um, he's very talented uh, composer because he composed great songs. He's talented mixing engineer. So, yeah, he's a kind of a star in Crystal Viper. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, the, the, the songs on Tales of Fire and Ice were also more of a, a group composition, if I... Yes, yes, but but not 100% by Crystal Viper members. Because on Tales of Fire and Ice, you can find songs that I was composing seven, seven eight years ago with, um, with my bandmates from Born Again band. Because eight, eight years ago, I, I was playing in one band, in a band, in Born Again, and we were working on the album, which we never finished. But the songs were great. So when we started with Crystal Viper working on Tales of Fire and Ice, I had this idea that maybe we could use these songs. And um, because I really, I'm that kind of person that I really don't like unfinished things, you know? You drive I, I me still, crazy too, I absolutely yeah. understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still had on the mind that there are great songs lying somewhere on the hard drive on my computer and they are, you know, calling, take me out, put me on the album. So I contacted my previous band, my, the previous, uh, band my members, Martin and Bjorn from Born Again. I asked them if this is okay for them, if uh, we would record some of these songs with Crystal Viper, and um, and they were actually happy about that because you know I I I'm we are still friends with Bjorn and, and with Martin, and um, yeah this is how some of Born Again songs um, we we put on the on the Tales of Fire and Ice album. Is that also what Tales of Fire and Ice sounds so different from anything else that Crystal Viper has ever done? Yes, it actually does. You know. Um, I think that every Crystal Viper album is a uh, is heavy metal album, but each of them is different, you know? It's because of the inspiration in the, in the period of time when we were working on the album. So Taste of Fire and Ice was another album in different time with other inspirations. And as I just said, these songs weren't totally new because some of the songs that you can hear on Taste of Fire and Ice are eight, seven years old. So, and they are a little bit more power metal. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can say that they are more, more power metal because Born Again was power metal band, not mm -hmm. classic heavy metal. And I always consider Crystal Viper as, as this classic pure heavy metal act which you can hear on our new album on the cult i think that the cult is the essence of crystal viper Here they 